Here's how much we're expecting across the area. One to three inches for the north woods and the northwestern corner of the state. Though the closer you move further southeast, the closer you are to the storm core, the highest chance you have of multiple inches of accumulation. So this light blue that you're seeing here across the central part of the state, that's about three to five inches, five to eight here in the dark blue, and eight plus inches if you're traveling down in the southern or southeastern corner of Wisconsin. Now this is the best case scenario, the most likely scenario that we're going to see with this snowfall. However, in reality, it'll likely be a much more sharp line between the moderate to heavy snowfall. So one city uh, could be maybe seeing three inches. You travel just 20 miles over to the east and you could be up towards six or seven inches as there is going to be pockets of heavy snow amidst the system and likely we'll be seeing snow drifting in and out throughout the daytime hours. Our weather alerts here do show the same thing. We're looking at a winter weather advisory across central Wisconsin. That shows that there is a very high chance of snow, though it's likely not going to be as impactful as the southern part of the state, which is now under a winter storm warning, typically reserved for systems capable of six inches of snow totals or higher. So we do have quite a bit of snow headed our way. Great for those who want to get out there and get a start on the snowboard and ski season, as well as those trying to get open those snowmobile trails. Now the satellite radar picture shows this weather system down to our southwest. You'll notice snow and rainfall. Thankfully, the rain part of the system, the warmer core is going to head off a little bit further east. So we're mainly just going to be snow as it develops here across Wisconsin. Feature track forecast shows that moving in after midnight tonight for the southern part of the state. Those in central Wisconsin also have a chance to develop up some snowfall by early Tuesday, so you'll likely be waking up with a little bit of snow falling and plenty more to come for the afternoon. You can see here midday is likely our highest chance of snow here across central Wisconsin into the afternoon as well. And you can see that sharp line here right across the central part of the state, and that's going to be the difference between two inches of snowfall and six inches of snowfall. As we track into the evening, still looking at a chance of snow here on the eastern side of the state. That's why six o'clock, those are a little bit closer to Lake Michigan, maybe seeing upwards of 10 inches of snowfall and then as we travel into Wednesday things should start to clear out. Warnings are technically in effect until Wednesday morning. Tracking into Wednesday night, we are looking at another chance of snowfall. So overall throughout this week, we could have multiple chances to accumulate snow. Another chance you saw there down at the southeast on Friday. Numbers today we had 31 pretty dry here across the area that is well above average of 23. We will slowly drop in temperature though throughout the week into the teens and even single digits by early next week. Now tonight we dropped down to 28 dry for a few hours and starting to snow after midnight forecast tomorrow around 32 degrees. We are going to see a northeast of the wind 15 to 25 miles per hour. That means some gusty winds and eventually snow drifts. 60% chance of snow Wednesday night, 50% chance on Thursday, 40 on Friday, turning a bit breezy, pretty cold later next week.